And uh, Warren Buffett's um, cohort, uh, Charlie Munger, they wor worked together for decades, um, has this wonderful quote, show me the incentive and I will show you the outcome. So it all comes down to the incentives, how the incentives are structured, and from that, many, many, many things emerge. And you might ask, well, that's a cool quote, Trent, but what can you do about that, right? So you, you know, how do you engineer incentives? How do you structure incentives? Now, until recently, the, the way that you would have to do it is through economic institutions uh, that come from politics and otherwise. But now there's a new way. And the new way is something that I like to call incentive machines. And that is blockchains. Now, blockchains have lots of cool powers, right? Some of the powers are things like, well, they're decentralized. No single entity owns or controls them. Um, they're immutable. When you write something to a blockchain, it's there for good. Um, you can have assets. But there's a superpower. It's the most important feature of blockchains. And that is, you can get people to do stuff. How? By rewarding them with tokens. Um, that sounds super simple, but um, it's kind of amazing. So you're literally printing magic in your money, whether it be Bitcoin or your own token. And whenever people do stuff that is of value to the network, then the network will, will um, reward them. And um, so Bitcoin, I'll talk more about that later, but Bitcoin, uh, it's trying to get people to help maximize its security via hashing. And it pays them in Bitcoins. Every 10 minutes, um, people get paid um, based on the, their, um, how much they're contributing to the network. So we can use these incentive machines, these blockchains, to change the incentives. To, for, so in the case of data, we want to shift this shelling point, this natural default, from siloing data to pooling data. And, um, and then when, you, when the pooling of the data is happening, the data is made more available to everybody, everybody, then um, things can change and we no longer have these data silos. Instead, we have a democracy around data itself.